Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Mike Shuddy, co-author of the Breeders' Cup Super Screener. Hey, in this video, we're going to answer the question everyone's asking right now. First time we're running at Keeneland here for the Breeders' Cup. So, what are the key factors and considerations we need to keep in mind as we're handicapping these races that are run on the dirt and run on the turf course? Don't worry, we've done all the homework for you. We've looked back at the last several meets as well as tracking this current meet and we've intersected that with our Super Screener time-tested criteria. And we have four very solid tips for you as you start preparing for these races. But just as a reminder, what's the Super Screener all about? It's a 15-year plus study, continues to evolve as we run new races, and we've looked at hundreds of horses, over 40 handicapping variables. We're looking for patterns and data that help us do the following. One, identify winners, separate them from the losers. Two, isolate those vulnerable, low-priced horses that we keep off our tickets or at least off the win spot. Three, isolate in the many long shots that are in each of these races, which of them have the best shot to hit the board and potentially blow up the exotics with huge payoffs. Now, let's get to those tips. First of all, you can count on the fact that the dirt course, which has been playing very fair all meet long, is going to get tightened up and there's been signs of that this week. So as we get to the Breeders' Cup weekend, it's going to be very tight. But for the two Breeders' Cup sprint races, what you can count on is that the press or running style is the preferred style. So the track will be very favorable to those types of horses. Probably not very favorable to the wire-to-wire -wire type horses. We're going to have full fields, and the pace in both of those races is projected to be pretty pressured in one in particular. But the two races couldn't be any different according to the super screener. For example, in one race, layoff is great. In another race, it's a big knock. And none of the super screener criteria are the same between those two races. So you need to treat them very separately. But as far as the track's concerned, look for those presser types, maybe even the off-the-pace types. All right, let's go to the turf course. And we'll look at the five and a half furlong sprint first. Typically, in most tracks, you want to look for a horse that's on the lead or near the lead, but not at Keeneland. We did a study. We looked back the last six years, and 30% of the horses that won this race were at least three lengths behind the leader at the half. And it's horses that are coming from the middle and the outside part of that turf course. So with a full field expected, a really pressured pace, focus your energy around finding those key mid-pack and maybe even your deep closers that'll pass them all for a win in what could be a gargantuan payoff. Okay, let's take a look at the route turfs. You can definitely guarantee that any horse that has that late kick, that has that really quick turn of foot, is going to be favored by this turf course. And one thing you want to avoid in these turf routes are Europeans that are forwardly placed. Typically, even at low odds, these horses have failed. They're not accustomed to the swifter early pace of American races. And they often have very little left in the stretch to make an impact in the wind spot. All right, our fourth and final tip. The dirt mile this year will be run at maybe a little bit more than a mile. And horses that are on the lead or near the lead are really going to be at an advantage here. Why? Because that run up to the first turn is going to be very short and they're using the first finish line, which means we have a very abbreviated stretch run. So Liam's map looks terrific on all accounts, but he'll be the 6-5 to five favorite. Super Screener, though, says we might be able to beat this horse. And just because that track configuration favors forwardly placed horses doesn't mean that it's always kind to the wire-to-wire -wire types. All right, those are four solid tips that you can use to help conquer Keeneland and have an advantage going into the Breeders' Cup weekend. Now, in our next video, we're going to do our traditional stand against. That's where we take five horses that are fan favorites, likely to go off at very low odds, but that the Super Screener right now is saying stand against. You can order the Super Screener at superscreener.com right now. And once the post positions come out, we'll have all the final wagering recommendations for you as well. But until then, I want you to study hard, go fast, and win.